Okay, the next step in what I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at uh, different side control techniques. Um, side control for me is probably my best area that I work from. I use it a lot to get out to other positions. I like to hold and dominate and pin in this position. So what I'm going to show you at the moment is I'm going to show you my kind of side control uh, which is focused on submissions at the top part of the body. So here we go. I have landed and passed Graham's guard. My knees are pointing towards Graham's head. My hip bone is against his hip bone. Okay. My arm goes deep against his hip and I hold this position for a moment. The reason why I hold this position for a moment is because it stops him being able to A, shrimp away, because if he shrimps away, he shrimps through my arm and drags me here. Stops him bridging because my hip is against his hip and it also stops him getting his knee underneath me. So if he's a guard player, it's very difficult for him to recover guard. In trying to recover guard, he gives me what I want, which is this tricep. And what I do is I put my hand on the back of this tricep and I'm going to reach and grab deep underneath his shoulder and I'm going to drive my knee as far past his shoulder as possible, lifting it off the ground. This foot is basing out on the ground and I'm pulling everything completely tight. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my hips over and my knee is going to land near the top of his head. And I'm making a slight angle. I'm not at 90 degrees to Graham's body. I'm actually just a little bit off. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to reach behind his head and I'm going to find his armpit. All right. In finding his armpit, I'm breaking the line of his spine and I'm taking a lot of pressure onto his chin. And then I'm going to bring my elbow close to my knee, separate my hips, keep my knee close to me. My other knee is going to come up and it's going to touch his hip. The final bit which stops me talking is I put my head on his shoulder. The reason why I put my head on his shoulder is because it stops him being able to frame in front of my face. So I'm in here, I'm nice and tight. My shoulder is sending his jaw to that side. He can't turn towards me because his shoulder has to go through me. I've got an underhook, I'm pretty safe there. I'm grabbing underneath his armpit. My knee is against his hip. I can feel what's going on down there. And this arm is pretty securely in that little triangle at the top of his body, okay? So if we get Graham to turn around and face this way, just briefly, we can have a look at the angle from here. I land in this position. I pull on the tricep and drive everything forward. I shoot my knee through. I'm going to turn my hips over. I've grabbed my underhook. I've gone deep under the shoulder. I like to put some weight on my elbow and actually lift the shoulder off the ground. This hand's going to go behind the back of his head and I grab some fingers deep in his armpit and I make a slight angle. Okay, I'm turning everything here. Put my knee against his hip, my knee against his head. And the final thing is to put my head on his shoulder and drive some pressure onto his chin. It's a really good pinning position. My heart is where his heart is. I can feel what he does. There's no way, there is no way that he's gonna manage to get out of this position. Unless he's really good.